So how much money do you actually need to start practicing and learning how to trade stocks? The answer is zero. In this lecture, I will show you how to practice trading real stocks without risking any of your own cash. If you're new to trading and still a little hesitant to invest real money, there are actually ways to practice trading without using your own funds. TD Ameritrade offers a tool called Paper Money where you can test strategies and ideas without risking your own cash. This is an excellent way for inexperienced traders to learn and safely practice trading strategies. Your paper money account will start with a balance of $200,000. You can use this virtual cash to learn stock trading in a realistic way, allowing you to experiment with advanced order types, test new ideas, and anything else you would like to practice. Remember that you should never trade with more real money than you will be comfortable losing, but with paper money, you can practice trading techniques with hundreds of thousands of dollars until you gain the adequate experience and confidence to trade with real money. If trading still makes you a little nervous, I recommend trading with the paper money tool until you gain some more experience. But remember, this is virtual money only, so you won't get to keep the winnings if the stock happens to go up, but you also won't take a financial hit if the stock happens to go down. So if you've already created your TD Ameritrade account, you can simply download Thinkorswim onto your desktop or your mobile phone to access the paper money tool. Personally, I prefer to trade on my smartphone, so let's head over to the Thinkorswim app and check out my paper money account. From the mobile login screen, instead of selecting live trading, let's select the option on the left called paper money. You'll notice the color scheme changed to a brighter orange, so you'll know you're on the right tab. After you've selected the paper money tab, go ahead and log in with your TD Ameritrade username and password. Once you log into the paper money tool, you should see all the tools and options that are available in live trading. The only major difference is that the price quotes may be delayed by about 20 minutes. Although the market data may be slightly delayed, you can still view the market data for stocks, equities, futures, forex, and other assets. From the quotes tab, you can view current market data or even create your own watch list. With the paper money tool, you start out with $200,000. So let's click on the positions tab and see how I'm currently doing. So it looks like since I've started my paper money account, I've gone from about $200,000 to almost $214,000. Although I won't get to keep the money, it's a good way to see how good your trading skills are. Looks like I'm currently holding a position in Shopify, so let's click on this one and get some more details. So from my paper money account, it looks like I purchased 100 shares of Shopify back when it was $140.59 per share. Currently, the Shopify price is $270.52, giving me a total profit of $12,957.50. Maybe I can take a virtual vacation with my virtual money. If we click on Show Shopify Details, we can see the same chart that we will see in live trading. You can view news, the current options, and even add indicators and overlays to your candlestick chart. So for the upcoming section, I highly recommend that you use paper money trading instead of live trading if you're a new trader. So with that being said, in the next section, we will go over various order types and how to buy and sell stocks. I'll see you in the next video.